Hi, it's Gail down here at Beachcomber Regina, and I've got a 700 Beachcomber Hybrid Series top side that I'm just going to go over with you. So right now you'll notice up in the left-hand corner, it's flashing program because it wants you to set time in this uh, hot tub. As soon as it powers up, it goes through its sequence of things, and then it starts flashing this program. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit that time and then mode. And that's our, our current temp, uh, time. So we're going to set it to whatever time with the up and down, or temperature up and down button to the current time. Once it's set, you hit mode again. And you'll notice on the top side now it says start filter uh, 8 a.m. And if you hit it one more time, it's going to say it ends filter number one at 10 a.m. Uh, that's a filter cycle of two hours running time, which is perfect. I hit it again. Filter cycle number two is going to start at 8 p.m. at night and it's gonna to run to 10 p.m. at night. If you wanna change any of those, again, it's just temperature up and down. You change it to whatever time of day you want it to be. And then once you hit mode the, for the last time there, it puts you to the, the display. Now your time should be set to the current time and wherever you are. Um, and your temperature up and down, you can basically turn the temperature up and down. You've got two buttons on the 700 series to turn your temperature up and down. Over here, you'll have the, you'll notice the light button. Turn your lights on. The lights come on and they start transitioning through a bunch of different colors. If you want it to stop and stay on a certain color, just let it get to the color that you want it to stay on. Then hit your light button off and back on and it's going to stay on that green now. Uh, then below there you've got your two jetting buttons. Uh, jet number one, hit that side. So basically all beachcombers come with a two-speed jetting pump. In a 700 series we actually put two two-speed jetting pumps. So uh, Pump number one has two speeds. First time you hit it, you're in low speed. That's gonna run for about an hour before it shuts off. Hit it one more time, you're in high speed. That's gonna run for approximately 15 minutes before it shuts off. And then you've got uh, your other uh, jetting pump over here, jet number two. Again, hit it one time, you're in low speed. It's gonna run for an hour. Hit it one more time, you're in high speed. That's gonna run for 15 minutes. Uh, I should point out pump number two controls the left-hand side of your, your tub. And it also works the diverter for your foot jets. So when you turn this diverter one way, it's going to work the left-hand side of the hot tub. When you turn it the opposite way, it's going to shut those jets off and they're, all the pressure is going to come out of those, those four foot jets in the bottom of your hot tub. And that runs off of pump number two. Uh, I'd also like to point out that there is some uh, modes that you can turn this top side into. Uh, so just to give you an idea, if you hit the temperature up button, and the star button, that's gonna put you into standby mode. Um, if your jetting pump was running and your circulating pump are running, it's gonna turn both of those off. It turned our lights off. It's basically like a power kill switch to your hot tub to turn it back on. Uh, you hit any button, turns it back on. Uh, all beachcombers come with three heating modes. Uh, every hot tub comes in standard. When you plug it in and you power it up, it's, uh, it starts off in standard mode. Standard basically means that whatever temperature you set this hot tub to, it's going to heat to that temperature and it's going to stay there. But if I want to take in that, I want to hit that temp, that hot or mo, pardon me, warm button, and then my mode button. You'll notice it says. Uh, ECN. I just put this hot tub into economy mode. Economy mode is only going to heat twice a day. Remember at the very beginning we set those filter cycles? Those are the only times at this hot tub the heater is going to run in that hot tub. So in this time, in this sense we've set it for 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. and 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Those are the only four hours a day this hot tub is going to heat. If I do it one more time, I'm in SL mode. SLP mode is sleep mode. Uh, I love sleep mode in the summertime. I keep my hot tub in sleep mode all summer. I, I set it to about 100 degrees and sleep mode will allow my hot tub to fall 20 degrees below what it's set at, which means my hot tub should go down to 80 before the heater engages. Um, I use it all summer and I've never seen 80. It's usually sitting between 95 and 97 just with the ambient temperature outside. So I love that uh, setting in the, in the summertime. One more time. I'm in back in that uh, STD mode, the standard mode, which is whatever we have this hot tub set at is what it's going to be sitting at. Um, <clears throat> now the diverter buttons to the diverter dials to both sides of this top side basically are your air diverters. So this uh, diverter to your left hand side is going to work with uh, pump number one and the diverter to your right side is going to work with pump number two. So this one works your, your uh, left hand side as well as your foot jets and the right side or the left side works your right hand side.